today we're taking a tour of the best bass boat money can buy, my little bass buggy. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss it. And there she is, my little bass buggy. We just got back from another day on the lake. Now that the waters are high enough, we can actually go out before they had the lake on drawdown and it was kind of hard to uh, put the boat in without breaking your prop off. But this, this is my little bass buggy. She is a pontoon, as you can see. A 1997 bass buggy, but she is my redneck Cadillac on the water. Why go out and pay seventy, eighty thousand dollars for something when, well, when this does me just fine? This is my my budget fishing rig, and I do love my boat. I have had quite a few people asking me about my little boat, um, how I came about purchasing it, just exactly, uh, just exactly what I use her for and how she's rigged out. And uh, well, as you can see, um, she is well. She's she's actually in the middle of being restored. She's almost done. Um, being restored. I've replaced all the seats. Uh, the back cushion here has been replaced. That is a light. That light, obviously it's a light. That light is um, for night fishing. That pole is telescopic and it is extremely bright. So we can run very nicely in the dark if we have to. It is the Minn Kota Edge trolling motor foot operated. There is a, uh, a metal pan that the pedal sits in that I have to install. So for, for now, this is where it sits. This is the Garmin Striker uh, 7. This is the Garmin Striker 7 SV on the console. Um, this is the view from where I sit. And usually the view I'm looking at whenever I'm making my content. Uh, the steering wheel, the captain's, you know, it's very simple. I just have the one tachometer. Um, I've got my trim, my horn, and there's the throttle control. There is no hot foot. I don't need a hot foot. She's got plenty of storage. Um, most of it is empty right now. There is, under this seat, this is where I keep my batteries. There is one for my... Uh, accessories and one for the motor and if I need to I can jump them together run them in parallel which I do sometimes if one of them gets low or if I forget to charge one I can do that that's more storage this seat is uh, currently being reupholstered it's going to be back on the boat later on this afternoon 96 inch wide casting deck big enough for two full-grown men we got the Garmin on the console, a Stryker SV, 7-inch. There's a 9-inch that normally goes on that rail right there. But uh, I only had it clamped there. I'm, I'm, I've got a, a piece of aluminum that I'm doing something more permanent. And here is the transducer on the uh, port pontoon. This is the transducer for the Garmin units. They both run off of the same transducer, and that's the pump for the live well. It goes up and through the tube. And over here, we have the Tracker Bigfoot 60, um, original to the boat. That thing is a beast. It punches well above its weight. It's got a 2.33 to 1 gearbox, just like a 90 to 150 horse would. So it's generates a lot more thrust than your average 60 horsepower. These things are gold. Uh, um, most of your pontoons will probably run between 
uh, 15 to 18 miles an hour. Um, my little bass buggy's slightly faster than that uh, on good open water with two grown men and loaded down with gear. She can get up close to 30. So, but then again, the engine's had a few modifications to her. But like I said, you know, I love my boat. I only paid three thousand dollars for, which is nothing for a boat that runs. I've put a couple of grand in her. Um, I spent, well, probably I don't even think another three grand. Um, I replaced that axle and rim, and she's got new tires and a new axle there because the old one was rotted out from being dunked in the water. I put the lights on her. She's got uh, bright LED running lights on the front for work fishing at night as well as the back part and i, I don't know the um the trolling motor the uh, garmin electronics all of that so maybe another two thousand twenty five hundred dollars and, and, and then the seats i've put on it but you figure for six thousand or so i have got a boat that is stable is wide three or four grown men can get up here and fish if and not bump into each other so i really like my little bass buggy and i appreciate you coming along with me for this tour when she's all done and she's been all updated i will redo this and you can see what the finished product is so thank you for watching low brow fishing we'll catch you in the next one